Hey guys, Eric here out at the Bethlehem Golf Club. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a drill you can do to dramatically improve how solid you hit your irons. This is a drill that I did recently in a lesson with a gentleman who came in to see me. He said, Eric, I've been trying to open my hips during the downswing literally for like the past 10 years. I haven't been able to do it. I showed him this drill within five to 10 swings at full speed. We were getting his hips open. He was hitting the ball more solid. Now. I'm gonna show you the drill in the simplest form first. I'm gonna kinda of add some layers and feels uh, and details throughout the video. So make sure you stick through here to watch those. Um, I think you're gonna like all of those. So increasing the hip rotation during the downswing. If we looked at golfers uh, at various handicap levels and we pause them at impact, the players who hit the ball the worst, the highest handicaps, the most inconsistent golfers would have the least amount of hip rotation, the least amount. Okay, so no hip rotation equals bad. The players who hit the ball the most consistent, the most solid, the farthest, okay, would have the most amount of hip rotation. So more hip rotation, good. Now, you don't need to be able to turn your hips as much as a tour player to play good golf, okay, but we don't wanna be at zero hip rotation like the gentleman was. So he said, Eric, I can't turn my hips. What's going on here? This is the drill we did. I want you to do this with me. I want you to grab a club. I have a seven iron. I do this with a short iron, you know, nine iron, eight iron, seven iron, and put it across your hips here, just below your belt buckle is fine. Okay, so I have the grip end towards the target. I've got the club head end on the right of my hip. Now I'm gonna hold it where both of my palms are pointed behind me. And I want you to feel with your trail hand, like you're actively pulling the club into your hip, but forcing your trail hip forward towards the target. Okay, I don't want you to do it where you hold this and you're pushing the club. People fake this drill all the time. You push it off, that's not what I want. I want you to pull, resist with your right hand, the club against your hip, and use your trail hip or your right hip to push that forward towards the target. And we're gonna show some Tiger in his prime. This was the video I showed the gentleman in the lesson as a model. We looked at him on video versus Tiger, went back and forth and model that success. And I said, hey, I want you to focus on getting your right hip, even with your left hip, by the time you get into the finish position. Okay, so let's start with that first. I'm gonna add some layers in. Feel like the right hip gets even with the left hip into the finish position. I'm gonna hit one with that first. So when I get done there with my swing, my right hip is fully forward. And I want you to focus on finishing in that position. If you get to there by the finish position, odds are we should have enough hip rotation early enough at impact, which is where we would typically measure it. So you put the club across your hips like this. And again, I'm gonna add some layers here, stay with me. Resist the club with your right hand. Push the club into your hip and use your right hip to push the club forward to the point where the right hip is even with the left. The second little cue that he had is I said, hey, notice where the club head is relative to the golf ball on the ground. If I do this correctly, the club head should get past the golf ball on the ground. That was the cue he was using. In the beginning, if I looked at him at impact, I mean, heck, his club head wouldn't even move at all, right? His club head would be still here. And certainly in the finished position, his club head was probably even with the golf ball at best. He looked like this, okay? That lack of hip rotation moved his low point back, so more fats and thins. It took away speed, so he hit it shorter, and he had no club face control. So he didn't hit it solid, he hit it too short, and he had no direction control. Okay, that's a recipe for not good golf. Now, fortunately, as we added hip rotation, that helped move his low point forward. He started hitting the ball more solid. His speed went up, started hitting it farther, and he got better club face control for direction. So we always like to do two rehearsals, one hit, check video. Say that with me. Two rehearsals, one hit, check video. So we had the club across, push the right hand against, right hip through, that's one. That's two. Put a club in, and let's try and feel the same thing when we're hitting, right hip through. And make sure I finish in a position where my right hip is even with my left. Now again, like I mentioned, I'm gonna add little cues here. We just gave him, you know, I gave him some different checkpoints, different feels that could work or things to look for. And the second one is, when you're going through, and we'll pull up Tiger here on the screen so you can see, as my right hip gets through even with my left, notice my right knee gets forward 
even with my left knee. My right knee is even with my left from face on, and my knees are very close from the down the line. If I did this incorrectly, my right hip's behind, or my right knee's behind my left knee, and the knees are farther apart. I don't want any of that. <clears throat> so as the right hip goes through, the right knee is gonna get forward and even with my left knee. So the knees should feel like they're very close together, like they're touching, and the knee is forward like the left knee. Then I gave him another little cue. I said, hey, another little piece that goes on to here, and this is all within the framework of increasing hip rotation. When he goes to golf, it's just get your right hip through. But adding layers of detail, as my right hip goes through, my right knee gets even with my left. How's my right foot look? Up on my toes, right? Let's pull up the tiger image in the finish. If your right foot stays down too long, what happens to my right knee? Does it go forward or back? Back, when my foot's down, my knee's back, where's my hip? Back, that means low point behind the ball, poor contact, less distance, less club face control. So as my hip's going forward and my right knee can get even with my left, I'm also gonna flick my right toes and make sure my toes, my right foot is up on the toes with the laces towards the target. Right hip forward, right knee forward, right foot on the toes. And all of these things can happen as a byproduct from each other. You might feel like you get your right foot up on your toes and then the knee goes forward, the hip goes forward. You might feel like your knee goes forward and all of a sudden you see the foot and the hip forward, right? Any of these can cause the others. And as we were hitting some shots with it, because this is a gentleman who had a look like this, right? No hip rotation, hips were kicking in toward the ball. We'd see the right knee and the hip going in towards the ball, the early extension. I also just gave him a little visual and we'll show this on the screen like Tiger. Uh, we put a little wall here up in front of his right toes, like there's a little box here. I said, hey, as you're doing this, as your right hip is moving forward, we don't want to have the right hip and knee work in towards the ball. And so if there were this wall up over my toes, as it works forward, it stays inside of that wall, right? My right knee's getting close to my left, my right foot's on the toes, and my right hip, as it's turning forward towards the target, stays in or stays deep. And that was really the last little layer of that drill. Let's go ahead and do one more. So the hip goes forward, the knee goes forward, the foot's up on your toes. You wanna to get to this position, the hips stay deep, right? They're not kicking in towards the golf ball. Now, obviously, if you're someone who doesn't like the trail side feels, you can utilize the same drill and feel like your lead side works around and get the same way. This gentleman and I were just doing this, this trail side through. Now, uh, two little caveats as you're doing this. Number one, and one thing I had to tell him I'm asking you to do this motion and get to your follow through spot because if your brain has to get here in the follow through, it will have had to start doing it earlier. Meaning if I say, hey, get your hips fully rotated by the finish, it has to start earlier. But you may not be doing it soon enough, especially if you're someone who doesn't have enough rotation. So from a timing and an amount perspective, I would say you wanna feel like you're doing this earlier right away when you start down with your right hip. And if you're not used to getting enough rotation, you may have to feel a little bit more aggressive, right? Sooner and more than you think, right when you start down. So the right hips forward, right knee even with the left, right foot up on the toes, and I'm gonna feel that hip going forward right away to start down. And the sooner that I get the right hip going forward, the sooner that my left hip goes around. It's just a different way to do the same thing. But I'm telling you, this is a guy who I was working with who was struggling with hip rotation for like a decade and we got it in seven swings. So for you, if you're working on your swing and you've been struggling with the same things over and over and over like I did for like a decade, I'm telling you, you could fix a lot of these things fast, but you have to identify the correct root issues. What are my problems and how do I work on those, right? I would go to cagornogolf.com, send us in your swings. Myself, our expert coaches are gonna say, hey, clearly these are the one and two things we need to do. These are the drills we need to do. Don't worry about this stuff. This is what we have to focus on. Here's how you do it. Here's the checkpoints. Here's how you know if you're doing it correctly. All that stuff, cagornogolf.com. Would love to see you there. If you have any questions, as always, go ahead and leave us a comment down below.